Hello, students. So you are all welcome from the uh, Deshi Vidya Shala Samiti Shumoga and uh, DVSPU Independent College. Myself, Lakshmi Devi R. We are going to learn the practicals through video classes. Practical number two. The aim of the experiment to study various stages of female gametophyte development in the ovary of a flower. Ovary of a floral female gametophyte development to in Agathe until Kedi Nodu. See, this can be studied by using either permanent slides, the charts, the model of stages of female uh, gametophyte development. See, we are going to follow the procedure here. When the vertical section of an ovary is absorbed, many ovules can be seen. Now, section Tegdidivi and Telhedaga sakas to ovules converted. Observe the slide under the microscope to locate the different stages of gametophyte development. Different stages in converted and Telheli now observe Madbeck slide. So, this is the development of embryo. So, you already know that. Uh, when we observe the ovule, ovule now observe Madagar, there is a central mass of cells called the neocellus. Any one of the cell in the neocellus become conspicuous and they become enlarged that constitute the megaspore mother cell. Other than now megaspore mother cell and the that megaspore mother cell undergoes mitotic division. A series of mitosis that can be seen here. The megaspore mother cell is always deployed in nature. It undergoes first meiotic division, that means meiosis, first meiotic and second meiotic division, results in the formation of four megaspores. Out of four megaspores, only one of the megaspores is functional, the remaining three will disintegrate. Uddhanta hamuru disappear agate, one day one the matra functional megaspore. If functional megaspore any day, that enlarges in its size, sizally enlargement after the the nucleus present in that undergoes a series of mitotic division. A series of mitotic division after the on the series of mitotic division agbe kadre first mitotic division agi the until heldaga it results in the formation of two nuclei. Each nuclei will move towards the opposite poles. Pratyundu opposite pole ge. Akade one polyge one nucleus ogate, ekadage in on the nucleus ogate. So, that stage is considered as the dyad, atwa two nucleate embryo sac, and the heli karitim. Next, and the heli dre, the same nuclei undergoes another mitotic division, results in the formation of four nuclei. Four nuclei birthade, four nuclei in birthade, adana now four nucleate stage in the karitim, atwa tetrad and the heli heltim. This e tetrad is the kanta stage, matte mitotic division after them. So, mitotic division are the ga ali 8 nuclei that can be seen there. It is considered as the 8 nucleate stage. Adana no octant at the heli karitim. This e octant any day, as and when the formation of the octant that can be seen here, the organization of the embryo sac begins. Embryo sac any day, organization aglike shurwagate. Hege organize akta de anta heli dre. A polar nuclei from each pole will move towards the center. Yerdu kada in the one on the nuclei you center give birth. They fuse to form the secondary nucleus. They undergo fusion. As and when the two nuclei fuses, it forms a diploid nuclei. So, secondary nucleus in there that is always diploid. The three nuclei which are present towards the micropylar end, micropylar end kadage yava muru nucleus birthade, that those nuclei get organized as the egg apparatus. See, when we ab observe the egg apparatus, we will come across two synergids and one functional egg. Idrali yerdu synergid akthade, one do functional egg ganta heli kariteve. The remaining three nuclei which is present on the opposite pole, opposite pole alirtha kanta ha muru nuclei in akta de, they get organized as antipodals, antipodal cells agi organized akta de. That embryo sac is referred as a mature embryo sac. 
See, when we observe a mature embryo sac, this mature embryo sac is always seven celled, eight nucleate embryo sac. Yol cell irate, other nucleus to end irate. That is a mature embryo sac in an angiosperm. Angiosperm alirta kanta ondu, mature embryo sac, seven celled, eight nuclei. That is a central secondary nucleus. The three nuclei which are present towards the micropylar end forms the agar apparatus. The three nuclei which are present towards the chalazal end constitute the antipodes. So, this you have already learnt it in your theory class and here we are going to observe either the charts or the model or the slides. By that we are going to observe the different stages here. Thank you children.